Hi everyone, it's Quinn for the win here. And so today is my birthday and I noticed that over the course of the years, especially when I started my self-love journey, the want, the desire, the huge giant expectations that I have on certain people to see me and celebrate me in such a big way has diminished. And it's not because I don't care about myself or like I feel like I don't deserve it. It is because I have found a way to consistently celebrate and acknowledge and validate myself. If you have worked with me, you know that my go-to question is always like, what has been your wins lately? Anything from small to big. I know what it feels like to have ex big expectations on other people, especially your loved ones, especially your significant others, especially with your family or close friends, to see you and celebrate you in a certain way. And this is what I've learned. We have such big expectations. Therefore, we have so many moments we've experienced disappointment, AKA not feeling loved. It's because we have given that power to somebody else. We have made it other people's responsibility to show up for us in this way. When this is all I know, they are not you. They have their own things going on. Therefore, they don't have the closest glimpse of truly how special your accomplishments are how great you know that you are as a person. So with that said, what if there was a way, what if there was a commitment that you become your own cheerleader, your own best friend, the biggest supporter that you have around for you? How would your relationships be if you diminished the expectations from other people and solely made you the one responsible for acknowledging you, celebrating you, validating you, being your biggest cheerleader, your biggest celebrator. And of course, I want to acknowledge, I mean, I'm going through some stuff that is really heavy and really devastating, almost like a nightmare. I am still having good days. And why is that? It is the commitment of acknowledging you, showing up to yourself every single day. Of course, there's a time and place for grieving, processing through a pain. I'm talking about the overall consistency of celebrating you every day. So how would your birthdays be? How would you be if you found a way to celebrate yourself each and every day? You can have less expectations in your life and experience more wins and really be seen and really feel loved by you no matter what happens.